both ways. Truth is, XJ, I can't sell ticks. I blame COVID always. You know, you are at my show. Homeless, hating, or shit can make it. Say it ain't so, let's freaking go to my big truck and it let's roll. One take, great job. Woo! Stop for my favorite time of the week. When you get to hear Papa try to speak. Will he surprise us today? You better act or watch 10 minutes of shop. All right. Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shop. Thanks for tuning in. I have a quick, uh, I'm going to start off differently. I have an Im- impersonation for you. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. What it? What is it? All right. Here's Brennan Schaub ordering at Starbucks. Hi, I'll have a Guadalajara heart to heart scarf. <laughs> that, I think I botched it. I said that before this started and it was funnier. But anyways, <laughs> that's not why you're here. Let's start 10 minutes of shop. Start the clips. All Jesus. right. So if you haven't already, please join the discord. And somebody uh, showed us these two clips about... Brendan's uh, Asian masseuse fetish. So let's start off with that. This okay. one's posted by Dynamics21. It's called Theo Vaughn Exposes Brand- Brandon. Sorry, I thought I was going to say Brendan. <laughs> for getting asshole violated at uh, Asian massage parlors. Wow. Yes. Dicey, dicey. Here we go. That'd be a decent place to get it, though, if things are going bad. <laughs> Someone ends up eating your ass while you're like... <laughs> <laughs> but here's the weird the thing. One, one of my friends who you know, who's a big podcaster, told me that he does it and he lays on his back and gets it like that. Oh, he puts his legs up? <laughs> what big bro, podcast? I couldn't even finish Tell eating. Name, <laughs> I couldn't name, even name, Expose this man. I couldn't even Get finish. him out of our community. I couldn't even <laughs> We don't need these guys. <laughs> we don't need guys like this. That's a predator. Oh, it broke my heart, man, when he said it. And I think I was trying to be supportive and we were having lunch. And God, it just broke my heart. That he got his ass eating legs he said up? He held his legs like that. It was just a, <laughs> it was a lot for me to just take on. <laughs> it's a lot. And there is a thing called Rub Max Rug Rub. Rubmaps.com. Rubmaps. <laughs> Rubmaps. Yeah. It's, it's, Rub it's an app. Okay. That's a code word, though. For, oh, it is? You've been here before? It's multiple times. You know, oh, oh, really? Deal. Oh, got you. Got you know you. when you play with that booty hole? <laughs> okay. You're you really going to get in that ass. Put the kid down at 730. Masseuse comes over at 8. Hot Asian lady come over and jack me <laughs> off in front of the family. You know, oh. you're fucking on all fours. They'll milk me like a cow. Oh, okay. jack That's me disgusting. Off. And put their digits in my asshole. And another one put her fingers in my ass. Right? I'll get on all fours, man. They'll jack me off like a, the milk in a cow. Um, yeah, seventy five dollars. That's amazing. Hey, seventy five dollars. You get all that? Or some sort of creep? Yeah, I see, I see. <laughs> man, there's so much in there that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, being shab, and you go into a massage parlor and you just lie down flat on your on your stomach. It's yeah. pretty weird. A UFC guy doing that. Yeah. I imagine going there, most guys would be like kind of a little nervous. You know, they're like, don't know unless they're pros at it. Or I guess they have something set up, but not Shab. Shab does not even waiting for the secret end or the happy ending. He's just lying flat on his stomach and expecting uh, the masseuse to stick her fingers in his butt. Like that. At t- least he knows what he likes, dude. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, if that's what he likes, I guess it's fine. I, I didn't even know that was a thing that you can do there. Yeah. That's uh, a whole, that opens up a whole new can of worms. Does it sound like something that Cooney's interested in? No, nah. <laughs> I don't, I don't have anything against you if you want to do that or whatever. I don't even need to say that, but it's just like, I don't like pain. Not even digits in the butt? Man. I don't want anything. Nobody cares about this on the, the, the Changs or uh, watching this, but you know. Sounds I mean, like you kind of want it, but we can go to the no, next one. I would never, ever want it. <laughs> and then when he's like, um, He's saying the thing about booty hole, you know, he's because he's with two black guys. He's like, you know, they get up in that booty hole. You know? <laughs> he's like, starts talking like shop jive. Like, yeah. You know that booty hole in me. <laughs> it's like, all right, all right, shop. Yeah. So you, and then the the milking, the, I, what I don't understand, like the, um, in front of his family. 
Yeah, no, that was weird. I don't what know if it was edited mean? in a way to make it sound like he did it oh, in front of his like family. Oh, like their trick at it, yeah. But it did sound pretty, fuck, it sounded like, even when it was edited, it was like, why would he say that combination of words together? Why would he say that combination of words together? That's why I didn't want to do that clip, sort of, because I was worried that it would get too much into, like, what we think about it, you know? And that's always, like, kind of hacky and gross. But we uh, we went those, wa- we named those waters. So well, we say- I would say that it's, it's interesting, like, because I don't think that way. You know what I mean? Think what way? Like to go get a massage and get my dick chucked off. Oh, well, I mean, he doesn't even get his dick. Well, maybe he does. Maybe he does both. But he clearly likes at least getting fingers in his butt. Nobody thinks of that. That's not like a common thing, I don't think. I've never heard any of my friends say that. Do you think he asked the masseuse to walk him to his truck? (laughs) Yeah, he's like, can you walk me to my truck first? (laughs) You want me to go to your truck and put my fingers in your butt? (laughs) Go to my truck and put my fingers in my butt. (laughs) Seven times a week. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> All right, so this next one is the most popular one from the week, posted by the Don Kadonk. Oh, congratulations, the Donk, the yeah. most popular of the week. Good, look at you, chef. Which shout out to homeless cats. We're at 100K now, dude. Oh yeah, we. I don't know if we're. Yeah, we. We'd love to be part of it, but we. I'm a homeless know. cat. Yeah, you're a homeless cat. I'm trying to get in there. I'm still cleaning the shit. Or I used to leave. Internet. I used to watch fucking T Fat K all the time. Back. In I the know day, that's dude. true. You watch entire episodes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah true. I still have friends How that are. Dare st- you? Yeah. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> I I yeah. still have friends that are stuck in the shop of hers, dude. Oh, that still are like actually like him. They don't like him, but they watch for the UFC analysts and stuff. You okay, know? but they say that he sucks. But they st- they just don't stop watching. Comedians are friends from like Rancho. Oh no, no, I'm talking about close friends, close friends of mine. I, I can't <laughs> Obviously, say it. can't be comedians. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about people I like. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, this one is called "You're Doing Great." Uh, posted by Da Donka Donk. Here we go. A spice in the UFC. Um, <laughs> he he was out of Dan Henderson's camp. Uh, French guy. Uh, a so moid, much. Uh, Patrick Lazo. No. Or no, David no. Lazo. Patrick Cote. No. He Na- fought Patrick Cote. Is such a stud. Look at him. Fucking. That's love my him. guy. I love that. That's my guy. Fine. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'm yeah. gonna find. It, it looks like in um, Jurassic Park where <laughs> yeah. the, the water is shaking because yeah. you know the dinosaurs are coming, but really it's just like the CTE on set. <laughs> <laughs> or the uh, the alpha brain kicking in there, making him shake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. It's, that's basically the whole clip is just happening. There it is, Tarek Safadine. I like Savage. alpha brain because it Dude, causes... He was, uh, getting, he was coming symptoms. up and going, boom, and I was like... <laughs> it causes delirium tremors. <laughs> delirium tremors, which is my favorite thing. I got CTE and DT, dude. I started taking alpha brain and kratom and cocaine and Adderall, <laughs> and now I can't function at all. But I'll put a disclaimer out there. I told a guy on YouTube I would. He was saying that, um, I think it was, it was Aaron or something like that. He's like, we talk about Kratom too much because we don't really know what it is, which is true. I still haven't really looked into it. And he was saying that, like, it could, it's actually a good thing that it's not bad for you and if you take it responsibly. I don't know, man. I've heard it both ways, as I said in my comment. But it comes from heroin or something. So just a disclaimer, I have no idea whether it's good or bad. And I'm not going to look it up because I just don't care. But back to clips. I would say... Anything's good in small doses. Dude. Yeah, if it helps you, I'm not saying don't take it because yeah. I don't know anything about it. We're neither me nor Gerardo. I mean, we're wearing bandanas. We're not doctors. I'm <laughs> sober. Yeah, Gerardo's completely sober, so yeah. he really doesn't know. I just I'm the kind of guy that might try something like that, but yeah, I I just uh, things from heroin. I don't know. Well, check out Happy Hippo, dude. Use uh, promo code uh, Trug. <laughs> yeah, Trug Walk. <laughs> not worth it. Okay, okay so. Yeah. This next clip is posted by Rogan and Shorty Pie. He's up and down the subreddit, dude. Yeah, that guy posts a lot, or or a girl, who knows? Uh, most likely a guy. They they or post they, a could, lot. Yeah, it could be they. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. It's uh, inclusive. This one's called "The Fellas Discuss Togan's Inability to, to Detect Humor," and Togan is obviously Joe Rogan, right? Yeah. Here we go. But do you remember that when I said? And you say something, I'll show up at your fucking house. And I was about to say, and I'll fuck you up. Remember, yeah. turn. but Joe didn't get it. So Joe goes, you know what, dude, you say that stuff. That's toxic. The people around you, I'm like, Hey, hey dude, what the fuck? I, I was, I was in the middle of a bit and you're taking me seriously. Yes, sometimes Rogan. Can- now they play it and they're like, he, they straighten up tough guy, Brian Callen. Hey, fuckos. <laughs> I was in the middle of a bit. And I got stopped. Well, cause some, some could Rogan's one of the comics. So he'll be in a silly mood. You know, Rogan gets, yeah, but sometimes. Most of the time, yeah, he's, serious. he's not serious like attack. we are. Like, 
You and I are silly. Right. Me and Theo are super silly. You and Chris are over the top silly. He just starts But it's a language. Yeah, and then like, sometimes and Rogan's the first people. comic where yeah, just <laughs> talk about their level of silliness real quick. It's hard to like take him seriously because he has this gigantic we're all the reasons why, but he has this gigantic yeah. thing of chew or lozenge. Yeah, he puts it's a lot like, of tobacco in his it's mouth. It's not even just if it's well, it could so it's tobacco. It's tobacco in his mouth. I'm picturing yeah. like multiple lozenges, <laughs> like a whole cheek full of yeah. like lozenges in his mouth. Well, it's tobacco lozenges. So it's lozenges of tobacco. Lozenges. Yeah. That's your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tobacco lozenges. Yeah, and he talks like this all the time. But it's not chew. It's like a tobacco. No, it's lozenges. like, you know, snus? Like the snuff. pouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Snuff, right? Yeah, snus, snuff. I don't uh, know. I don't potato, know. Potato, potato. Tar, tar or whatever it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's probably not called. Also, too. He's like, you know, Rogan gets silly, but he'll put you in a Guadalajara heart scarf. You know what I mean? A Guadalajara venti heart scarf? <laughs> um, yeah. It's still not worth it. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely not. Man, it was so funny the first time I said it. It was. Off camera, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> seven times a week, okay? <laughs> um, if you could see this, what we really say. Um, yeah, let's keep, let's keep watching. All right, here we go. I thought I had to be because you know the relationship between you and Chris. It's so silly, so funny. Yeah, you guys are doing bits for each other. Always, always, always. When nobody's listening. It's the funniest thing in the world, and you yeah. do it for each other. And I, because you know, you brought me into comedy, yeah. and so <laughs> when I, that was the only in, in interaction I would see. I'm like, oh, that's how you have to act with these guys. It's yeah. not my. I'll get silly, switch if I know you with you, but if I don't know you, I'm a little more reserved, yeah. or I'll just talk to you. Sure. But I thought it was like that way, and then I remember I came to the comedy store, and you guys were doing your thing, and I was jumping into it, and everyone's like, "Hey, come here." He's like. You're like me, man. He's like, you don't have to do that. He's like, don't you don't have to entertain that bullshit, that stupid, silly shit all the time. He's like, that's not you. I was like, really? He's like, no. Yeah. He's like, you're like me. I was like, oh. Yeah. Is Rogan like, oh. saying that? But I'm, I'm like, well, he's I'm, not I'm like comfortable between, with it. I'm like, he's not good at that. I'm like between Rogan and Brian. You know, I'm like in the middle. Yeah. I like to eat silly Rogan's sometimes. Yeah, you like you like to laugh. Oh, dude. Yeah. Joe's not comfortable in that, so he gets a little off kilter. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's really what it is. Where's my but, camera? But sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So I would hate it if my friends were like, yeah, Brendan doesn't understand humor and my job as being a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get it when you're joking around. That's not <laughs> what I'd want. <laughs> He's kind of a blog bus, uh, um, He is a small hot go so. Yeah. He's not gangsta. He won't kill himself by hanging himself. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, posted by Do You Even Double Leg? Um, <laughs> and it's called CTE Flare Up. Australia is seven days ahead of the USA? Question mark. Oh, yeah. Heard it both ways, my man. <laughs> All right. Here we go. And what time, what time is that fight at, Jen? Does it say? <laughs> I find out. Australia is like seven days ahead of us. So if it's uh, the 12th here. 2020. Wait, so the second time I watch it, is that a bit that he's doing then? I mean, yeah, it sounds kind of sarcastic. Yeah, that I get. That's just a bad joke. Yeah. Well, the first time I watched it, I thought it, it was because I was watching the airport. I only like I glanced at it and I was like, oh my God, dude, I hope he's okay. <laughs> Seven days ahead of us. <laughs> As a joke, it's pretty stupid too. Yeah. Um, yeah, but Bapa, Bapa, a lot of stuff he does is concerning. Yeah. It just shows his comedic ability there. It's not very good. If he, if he went to Australia and he was doing bits like he does when he goes to Charlotte and he talks about Muggsy Bogues, he just goes on stage he's like, your time is different, right? Like, what is it? It's like, it's like Friday here, right? And they're like, oh, man. They're like, <laughs> oh, man. What a bar I can't even do Australian. Australian, mate. <laughs> Shrimp on a barbie. Oh, mate. Shab thinks it's Friday here. <laughs> <laughs> All man, right. That so, guy's real so dumb. This one's been really popular over the past week. It's called Danny Brown being blunt to Joe's face about Brendan. Here it is. Oh, really, Dave? Like, when I see someone that has great style, you have great style. Brendan Schaub has great style. No, he doesn't. I think he does. <laughs> I like the way he dresses. I think it looks cool. I don't do it, but I like it. Yeah, good for you, Danny Brown. <laughs> yeah. so, the part of being uh, one of the thousand talented comedians working today is telling the truth, you know? <laughs> You got to tell the truth no matter what, even if it's to, if even if it's to Papa Joe, you know, <laughs> stand your ground. Good for you, Danny. Also, I like that one song he has growing up. Somebody posted in the Discord like his music. I haven't gotten a chance to listen to it yet, but do you like Danny? I never listened to his never, music. Never, never listened to it. Right. No. 
Who cares? <laughs> All right. So this next one's from our good friend, Haphazard. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Shout out, Hap. It's uh, called Most Hated Man in the Business, but he's a great guy. <laughs> sure, I have so much fun with you guys. You I love you guys. And it's been tough, man. You know what? And I'm going to say, too, I am thankful, too, for this, being a part of this. But I want to say, too, I'm thankful you don't get enough credit. The most hated man in the business sometimes, I feel, is Brendan yeah, Shaw. That's my feeling, and I want to say uh, <laughs> that's my feeling that, you know. I mean, there's others more, but, you know, there's no, others. I, I mean, I feel like, like Kanye right now is more. Yeah. More. Yeah. But you're like yeah. neck and neck. I know. <laughs> it goes Kanye, me, Kyrie. But what people don't know is that you really are a sweetheart. <laughs> Everyone hates you, but people don't know. In reality, you're really nice to me and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you're too dumb to be mean, <laughs> it's like <laughs> you're actually you're too stupid to be as hated as you are. <laughs> and he was wearing that ridiculous hat. Yeah. Although I mean, we're wearing bananas now. Bananas. No are matter awesome. what we do, yeah, I kind of like them. I, I think it's kind of. I don't normally wear them, but um, the. Whatever we do, like however ridiculous we try, like when I was BGL and they had that stupid wing on or when I wore the leprechaun costume from work, no matter what we do, it's never anywhere near as stupid as what Chubb looks like. Yeah. What it, he has like a an uncanny ability to look like a moron. He's not just stupid. He also like dresses stupid very well. But he's yeah. a sweetheart. But he's a sweetheart. So you always got to remember that. that even <laughs> though... According to him, people hate Kanye West the most, him second, and then Kyrie Irving, <laughs> two <laughs> anti-Semites. Um, he's a sweetheart. Um, I'm pretty sure we didn't watch this last week. I feel like I watched it the next day after we recorded, but it's called uh, Sorry in Advance, Papa, but blank slips up and accidentally admits they're not moving merch. Oh, BGL slips up and admits they're not moving merch. This one's posted by Mitchie Slick LBC. Okay. All righty, let's get this one going here. Oh, this is this first thing that sells out. How it's crazy, huh, Mark? It's good whiskey. It's yeah, nuts, people man. are buying it. It's nah, nuts. Even when they don't buy the merch, because Wisconsin people are cheap. I love it. Wow, well, whiskey. It, I didn't tell you. Whiskey in the wintertime. Wait, you want to huh. replay it or no? Yeah, let's play it one more time. I think we missed some things. We there. can't send enough cases at the show. So this is the first thing that sells out. Oh, it's, how, it's crazy, huh, Mark? It's good whiskey. It's yeah, nuts, people man. are buying it. It's nah, not it's even when they don't buy the merch because Wisconsin people are cheap. I love it. <laughs> wow, whiskey, it, man. Wisconsin, Wisconsin people are cheap. <laughs> yeah, that, I think why random that yeah. they buy the whiskey. They're just like, well, we'll help them out a little bit. <laughs> they don't want to buy the merch because even because even in the state of Wisconsin, people can still see you. You know, <laughs> there's nothing about you're not invisible there. People don't want to be seen in a thick boy sweatshirt, a hoodie, like a thick. You know, be one. It funny if they wore like a they had a thick boy tie. <laughs> like a, oh, nice tie. It has three C's on it. Good. Yeah. You're looking good, Mark. I think <laughs> the reason why BGL is upset is because he's like, the tickets were free. Buy some merch. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's funny that he brings Mark with him. What does Mark do? Does he yeah. just hang out? He doesn't do stand up on the show, does he? I feel like he would be like a personal trainer. He sucks at everything he does. Yeah. Maybe he's just Shab's trainer. Yeah. And, He's not doing well because Shab looks terrible. Yeah. Shab's always fucking tired and like cracked out on whatever weird alpha brain cocktail he's taking. He's like, all right, so for today's yeah. workout, we're going to try to lower your blood alcohol level. I blow my nose. Oh, uh, disgusting. I'm going to probably edit this part out. All right, so the next clip is from another one from Dadonk Dadonk. Dadonka Donk. Uh, it's called How Did Being the Official Like Content New Source for One Championship Go? Uh, here we go. Play a little bit of this. I think we can do this, right? One championship. I don't know. <laughs> Damn it. All right, we'll just bypass this for yeah. now. Um, Stick Boy goes the network. You know, we're here tonight. We signed a deal. Uh, we'll be the official like content, uh, new source for one championship. <laughs> <laughs> Skeptical hippo eyes. Why, why is Ellen DeGeneres interviewing him on the street? <laughs> is she that hard up on work? She loses her show and now she's doing man on the street stuff with Shab. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. That's all I got for that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, I don't even know what they're talking about. So, okay, so one championship is a, a fighting league, right? Something like that? Yeah, 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 I think so. And so he signed a deal with one championship. To do what? I uh, I don't know, be content for them. So oh, basically- To like, the, oh, commentary or something? Yeah. So, in so the they middle, want Brennan Schaub to- 
Hey, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. So you. in the middle of his podcast, Chin was like, hey, is it cool if we show the one championship stuff? And he's like, I don't know, whatever. And then so they show the video of him being like, we just signed a deal with one championship. Uh, <laughs> that's all I got. That's so stupid. I mean, yeah, of course you can show it if you're on it. Yeah. Why wouldn't you be able to show it? Well, that's what they're saying. He's like, there's some kind of like, it's kind of like. And then time. all they have is him talking to another guy. Yeah. That's weird. That's the content they have? No, that was edited together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, we're don't losing, know. we're losing Cooney, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not following. <laughs> Uh, this, to be honest with you, I took a little bit of alpha brain just now. <laughs> uh, this one is the one you posted in the uh, Discord last week. It's posted on the subreddit by Immortal Knievel. Uh, it's called New England's not just a, you know, a specific thing. <laughs> uh, here we I go. I posted this? Yeah, you, you put it in the Discord. Okay. Here we go. City like British yeah. Monday, November 21st. You're flying somewhere. Hopefully you're not. Um, I get it, man. I get inflation. Your kid wants to tickle me ammo. My favorite merch <laughs> I've ever done. I don't think it matters when you drop it. I think it's a good time to drop it on Thursday. It's, a, it's more special than that. The exact same quality you get when the... you. Where's the patch? <laughs> Your kids wants one of those South Park DVDs. Stuff. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Your kid wants one of those Mattel hot street cars. <laughs> you got your kid to get her one of the American girl dogs. <laughs> your kid. Your kid wants one of them tech decks. <laughs> tech deck snowboards. Get one, Barbara doll. It was just, your kid want. Your kid wants one of the uh, easy bake, easy bake toasters. <laughs> Your kid wants to your to your bitch daughter wants fucking one of those goddamn uh, ninja, ninja teenage mutant ninja spiders. <laughs> your kid wants tickle me Elmo. Too far there. <laughs> tickle me Elmo. Tickle me Elmos. <laughs> you got tickle me Elmos in there with Toys R Us. All right, here's the rest. <laughs> Checkers board. Checkers. Go ahead and get them all this stuff. Big deal. Uh, no, I forget what they're doing. Dollars. Cool. Sorry, David with his arms right. wrapped around me. 80 bucks for Uber? God damn, where do you live, dude? It's the newest, so you know they can put some <laughs> some effort into it. But it's on the outside, it's on the outside skirts. So I come back and watch my kid play fucking soccer. He's the worst Mexican you've ever seen play soccer. They get freaking in his feet. Jesus Christ. Yeah, me and his mom got into it. <clears throat> it says rough from 1919 New England. It says December 9th, Providence, Rhode Island. Rhode Island's New England. Yeah, you got like Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. Explain that to me, dude. Did you know that, Jen? I mean, I uh, Did you know that, Mark? It's kind of like you would say the Southwest, the Pacific Northwest. Like it's more. New England's more of a region. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> New England's not just a. a you know, specific thing. Well, no, you should know this golden state. It's kind of like just Northern Cali. <laughs> For the state of California. Oh man. Yeah. I mean that I'm bad at geography too, but the thing is I know I'm bad, you know, <laughs> I, and he does, he's not aware that not knowing common simple facts, like what new England is or what golden state. And then he confidently says that golden state is, because probably because of the NBA team, right? That's yeah. why he thinks that. He's so dumb. No, he knows his geography. XJ. X, yeah, XJ. XJ, dude. <laughs> Continent B or whatever he says. <laughs> dude, that clip was so funny. And then uh, 80 bucks for Uber? Where do you live, man? <laughs> you call, can you imagine your dad saying that you're the, the worst Mexican at soccer? <laughs> 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 yeah, my son is the worst Mexican at soccer I've ever seen. That's uh, not good. This clip is also really old. It's from five months ago, posted by Rogan and Shorty Pie. But somebody posted it in the Discord, and I don't okay. think we've ever seen it. It's called Protein Pony Enjoys Energy Powder Taken Nasally. So here we go. Ready for Dude, you. I lost all faith hey, in TSA. Yeah, right. Mark has flown <laughs> several times with I, a Costco ID. And then Nothing else. Is, in Arizona, we show up, and I, I'm like at the pool in the Airbnb, and I reach in my board towards pocket Dude. and pull out a, a gram of cocaine. I'm like, oh, this was in there. I said, like, I forgot about oh, it. Oh, no, months and months no, ago. Yeah, Hold on. Let's tell the story. <laughs> yeah. So he, he takes forever to catch. He was going to miss the plane because they're, I don't know what the fuck. They're scanning them. They go through every single piece of his luggage. We get to the Airbnb in Phoenix. 
Mark's being a you know crazy ass, and he's doing cartwheels by the pool, and he does a cartwheel, and this bag of <laughs> cocaine falls out. I go, whoa, dude! <laughs> and Mark goes, crazy ass, goes, ooh, coke. <laughs> Picks it up. He picks it up, and I go, and he's like, "Oh, I forgot it. This, I got this in Mexico like years ago. I've been looking for this <laughs> years." And then I go, "Cool, cool, bro. You realize TSA went through every piece of your luggage and didn't yeah. find any of this shit?" Yeah. He's like, "Yeah." yeah. yeah so we had to do it before we flew back. Yeah, was yeah. it still good? <laughs> it was. It's yeah. not like mushrooms. It doesn't. I mean, I, the I respect Jeff Dye. He's not laughing in any of that because it's not funny. Yeah. It's just not a funny story. Yeah. So f- cocaine fell out of his pocket, and he was like, "Oh, cocaine." It's like, oh, "Okay, <laughs> great, good story, Shab." <laughs> <laughs> that other guy's like, <laughs> "He's really high on kratom." <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. it again. Who is that guy? I have no clue. Some random shop fan? Yeah. Is he somebody from... He is just he, has is fans he on his show. Someone from Thick Boy Nation? <laughs> no, nah, I think I've seen him before. No offense to whoever that guy is. Hey, 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 tell it again. <laughs> How about never talk again? Yeah. Stop doing this. Stand-up comedy in this show is killing you, shop. Retire on your millions. You're selling it away doing Thick Boy Squad. Thick Boy Nectar, I mean. Well, I have a confession, dude. What's up? I just got accepted into the Thick Boy Nation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Woo! Bringing back Walsh's yeah. shirt. Nice. Yeah. What can Dicey, I say, dude? What can I say, baby? Look, original TFAT K guy right here. <laughs> Been on the, the subreddit for quite some time, Chad. <laughs> All right, what's the next clip? Okay, so this next one is about Dave Chappelle. It's like the stories thing. Uh, I was trying to find it a lot, like I want to say six episodes ago uh-huh. when it was first posted in the Reddit. Right. But I can't, somebody posted it in the Discord uh, from the YouTube. So I don't know who's the original poster or whatever, but it's basically him telling two stories that contradict each other about a meeting he had with Dave Chappelle. Okay. He wants to go out fighting. So we have this back and forth. And he was vaping. He goes, My doctor said these, uh, he smoked cigarettes. He goes, My doctor right. said these are actually better for you. They're not. He goes, how do you know? Let's fucking Google it, dude. They're not. He was really oh, no, he fucking threw in the trash. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Verified lie number 69,669. In our relationship, he probably hates me to this day, if he even remembers me. He's vaping. I go, oh, you know those are worse for you than cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> and he goes, what the fuck you just say? I go, it, you know the vape's actually worse for you than cigarettes. He goes, who told you that? Oh, it's, it's just what they say. He's like, who says that? I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. Wow. And he's like, my doctor says better. This is why he told me to start vaping. I'm like, but it, I don't think it is. <laughs> and he's like, all right, man. And then just walked off. Never talked to him again. You know, this clip actually changed my <laughs> That's mind. That's it. Dang. This is straight up lie from Shab. <laughs> or his brain just doesn't work and he remembers two different stories, you know? Yeah. I don't know which one it is. Well, I think maybe somebody told him, punch it up, dude. Maybe he didn't like what you told <laughs> His you. writer came up yeah. with a second story. Yeah. Marg. <laughs> Marg. I mean, I think there's a chance that neither story is true, right? <laughs> he may never have talked yeah. to him. He saw Dave Chappelle on stage uh, smoking a vape. He's like, how can I make him gay? Uh, I, <laughs> I mean, shot. if I were vaping or whatever and Shab told me that it's bad, he's the last person that I'd listen to. You why could you imagine you tell your friend, hey, I got I stopped vaping, man. Uh somebody told me it's bad for me. Worse than cigarettes, actually. And they're like, who told you that? And you're like, Brendan Schaub. <laughs> like, oh, listening to Brendan Schaub, are you? <laughs> Sounds a little dicey dicey. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. I'll probably choose my doctor over Schaub's yeah. advice. Seeing a Schaub almost looks like he's about to be dead. Mm-hmm. One last thing I'll say about Shab, he a lot almost you know how when we get tired on the show and we sort of trying to drift off maybe for a second or so. And I know it's you, not, how you get yeah, tired. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Now I'm just talking about yeah, trying to try yeah. to it. Yeah. It's me. I'll take it up. <laughs> but when that happens, it's not the best part of any podcast. That's like what Shab is like all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Every moment is that. He's sort of drifting off. And you're like, what? Is he trying still? And he's trying very hard, I think. He tries his hardest when he's like this. He's like, uh, uh. yeah, he does this weird thing with his face that drunk, when you do when you're drunk, like thinking yeah. like the, the New England thing where he's like, <laughs> you think about what should I say about New England here? <laughs> I know Rhode Island's not part of it. <laughs> I don't know if it's a region. I don't know what the word region means. Seven <laughs> times a week. 
All right. Thanks for tuning in. Join in or join the Discord. See you next week. Bye.